Hi, my name is Gabriella Bermea. I'm an associate and design architect with VLK Architects practicing in Austin, Texas, and this is Profiles. I wish I could tell you was some big grand story into architecture that I was just always moved by buildings, but I truly knew from a young age I wanted to assist and serve others and help others. Um, that's what I wrote down on my kindergarten sheet, that's what I stand by today. I, I made my leap into a CTE program with Texarkana ISD with the drafting and design program and I had an incredible, incredible teacher there who took me under his wing and said, I know you have these skills for, for leadership and for math and for this, that and the other, but I think architecture, I think the field could use you. And I was drawn to it. I saw, um, I dived into the programs of the college or the university that I attended, the University of Arkansas. But in returning into the workplace and through my internship, I was able to see we are serving people. We are serving others at the end of the day. We're a very service-oriented organization. And I was reminded again what I'm here to do and what inspires me. So I was inspired to jump into the profession pretty early on um, through that high school program, but I'm constantly being <laughs> inspired to stay and to contribute and continue to build and, and amplify the voices that are here as well. Each project is different and each client is different. I think that's the beauty of being a design architect. You get the opportunity to hear all of these voices. Of course, we have our precedents in the areas in our um, local context that I draw inspiration from, our, our environment, but I consider myself a people first architect. The best part of my job is when we get to show them that in real time, in real space, and they say, "This, I had a part in this. That is what gives me inspiration, the opportunity to see them connect all of the dots and be in a space where they can be successful and fruitful, not only for their education, but for the generations to come, the school buildings that are here for 100 years. There's an impact to be made and there's a need for us to listen and be human-centric designers. For me, where, where my steps have been taken in that is in joining community organizations, focused organizations like Women in Architecture, like Latinos in Architecture, like Arquitinas, having the opportunity to mentor one-on-one -on -one individual students from K through 12 with ACE and then to the, the, the professional who's pursuing licensure like an Arquitina. I think it's the full broad picture. And in addition, helping um, the mentees that I get the opportunity to work with to pursue scholarships and pursue recognition, pursue awardship because that visibility and equity is key to improving our profession and I think that's the way we're going to continue to, to grow as an organization. So I have to take a moment to shout out Hutto ISD. Um, Almquist Middle School is one of the most recent ones that I've had the chance to work on. And I have to applaud not only the district for their forward thinking and innovation in the space itself, we were challenged with um, how can we create the most open and flexible spaces, which are really buzzwords in education if you think about it that way, right? You're, we've been hearing that verbatim for maybe 15, the past 15 or so years because schools grow, facilities grow. How do we, how do we grow over time going from 1,200 students to you know, 1,400 over time? For me, where it impacted my career is where all the dots connected. You have this design education, you have this opportunity to collaborate and work with others, and then you have what I touched on at the beginning is helping and serving others. That's when they all came together. Um, there's been a number of fantastic projects that I can applaud in the past, but that one was one in recent history that I just am excited to see constructed and excited to see built, and we are hoping for that one to be here in the next couple years. <music>